I had to just get really honest um, with my own disappointments, with my own my own dark moments in my life and, and work from that space to connect with my own self in a way that I hadn't had to for other characters, to isolate myself, to sometimes not take a shower for two days, to feel hopeless and helpless and alone and isolated. And, you know, I was raised by a single mom, so I know what that's like. I know how I, and I, it's difficult, listen, it's difficult to raise children with two parents. But when you're raising four girls by yourself, living in the projects, making probably less than minimum wage, there is a sense of deep hopelessness. And I, I empathize with that. I've seen it, I've been around it. I'm a black person, I understand the black experience. And I think what's great about this is at the end of the story, you see this woman who was raised by a woman who was battling for her own life, fighting for her own life. And this young girl, she's a warrior. She wanted better for herself and better for her mother. I can relate to that. Um, you just gotta keep pushing forward, you know? And I think that she, Roxanne Chante was fearless. She didn't care. She was gonna get her money she was gonna make sure her sisters were taken care of. And this is, a, this is not just Roxanne's story. This is everybody's story. This is a coming of age story.